Now to another job alert, this one in Greene County. A small defense contractor is growing. It means more than 100 new jobs will be created. News 10's Heather Good was there for the announcement this afternoon and has more. This is happening at Integrity Defense Services Incorporated. Of these jobs, at least half of them will go to people already in Greene County. According to the business owner, this is something he says he takes seriously. Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb was on hand alongside staff at Integrity Defense Services Incorporated as owner David Burkett announced the business is expanding. The growth is thanks to a recently awarded five-year contract to produce equipment for the U.S. Marine Corps. We're looking to hopefully uh, triple in size uh, by the beginning of next year, hopefully. IDSI is a defense contractor providing services to organizations like Crane, also located in Greene County. It was first opened in December of last year and, according to Burkett, currently employs 15 people. 160 new jobs could be added by the end of 2022. I'm a Greene County guy. I was born and raised here. Uh, so seeing this area develop uh, means, a, means a lot to me and having a part in it uh, means a lot because as a small business owner, you look at these guys as your family. Governor Eric Holcomb explains half of the jobs will go to people in Greene County. They're not just jobs, they're careers. These are, these are careers that are paying well above the state average for new jobs, like 40 percent, north of 40 percent uh, more. Burkett says he's looking for people he can train on the job. Just being able to have an influence on this community um, and being able to hire um, people that I've known my entire life that might not have had the opportunity to go to college, but their skill set is still very is still very important. You know, even though they don't have a college degree. Hiring starts now. Burgett hopes to double his workforce to 30 over the next year. If you are interested in applying for a job, you can do so online. We've got a link on our website, WTHITV.com.